Shalom, it's Reuben Ebrahimov, the Haftorah man. And the Haftorah for Shmini Atzeret, or the eighth day of Sukkot, is a continuation of the Haftarah from the second day of Sukkot, which is only read outside of the city, uh, the land of Israel, that second day one. So here we go. One of the most fantastic scenes in all of the Bible. King Solomon is dedicating the Bet HaMikdash, the Holy Temple, when? He's doing it on Sukkot for two weeks, and one week before Sukkot, and then the week including Sukkot. And now Shemini Atzeres is the culmination of the most fantastic celebration. And the Haftarah begins that Shlomo is finishing praying, as, completing praying to God all these prayers that he said in the temple. He is 18, 19 years old. He is acknowledged as the leader of the Israelite nation. He has completed building this temple. There's priests, prophets, Kohanim, Levium. There's everybody that is from the leadership, all spiritually holy, dressed beautifully. The Levium are playing in their orchestra, beautiful songs, uh, beautiful music accompanying the psalms. There are sacrifices being offered up to God as toda, thanks to God for what you've done for us. And it, Solomon says, Baruch Hashem. Maybe that's where that comes from, that we say, thank God. Baruch Hashem, Hashem, Nasan Menucha. La'amo Yisrael, that you have given peace and rest to your nation of Israel, just like you promised us. And then in a beautiful pasuk that we say in the Sephardic Minhag, before we take out the Sefer Torah, it says, Yihi Hashem Elokeinu Imanu, yes, the singing of Torah men, Ka'asher Hayayim Avoteinu, Al Ya'azveinu Ve'al Yitesheinu, Hoshia et amecha, uvarechet nachlatecha, urem venaseim ad ha'olam. So here, you have, God should be with us. Yehi Hashem elokeinu imanu, like He used to be with our fathers. And do not abandon us, stay with us, God. So this is a beautiful pasuk that we say every Shabbat, we should remember when we hear it, when it started the first time, that it's important for us to know our history and the origins of our customs and that you can feel deeply rooted in your spirituality if you can understand where and when it started. And that Hashem is the our God, that we have been blessed to have a holy relationship with God and that our soul should be full, our heart should be full with God and go in his ways, and everybody's doing the sacrificing in the Haftarah, and that there's a tremendous celebration that's going on on the eighth day in the Beit HaMikdash. And then once the celebrations are over, it says that everybody went home happy and content, that they had a magnificent, magnificent spiritual experience of the heyday, the beginning of the 30 days of the heyday of the Jewish people. We had a state of Israel, we had a city of Jerusalem 3,000 years ago. We had a temple, we had all 613 commandments. We had a king, we had prophets, men and women, who could see the future with absolute certainty only because they were spiritually connected and pure and holy. And there was their dedication. You had Levium, you had kings. You'd go up to the temple three times a year to worship God. It was the most magnificent time of the Jewish people. And we all pray to have this time restored, that we all have world peace. Everybody gets along. No one fights. Everybody has their own place. Everybody's happy. Chag Sameach. Happy holidays. Share this with your friends.